This is what I like to call a shoe last rail joint. It's a 3D printed alternative to common shoe last hinging systems. Delasting with the rail joint is a smooth and easy process ideal for small scale shoemakers. And this style of shoe last joint also minimizes the risk of damaging the shoe. In this 3D shoemaker tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to assemble the rail joint. In an earlier tutorial, I showed how to order, 3D print, and assemble a shoe last with an alpha hinge. I highly recommend starting with the alpha hinge as it is easier to assemble and will be more familiar to most shoemakers. The tutorial uh, for it is also more comprehensive, covering the ordering and slicing steps. In this tutorial on the rail joint, I'm just going to cover the assembly steps. So how does a rail joint work, you might be wondering. The rail joint allows the back part of the shoe last to move in an upwards and forwards direction, effectively shortening the length of the shoe last and enabling its easy removal from an assembled shoe. There are other shoe last joints that work in a similar pr principle, but what is unique about the rail joint is that it is screw driven. Turning the screw clockwise causes the joint to close and turning it in counterclockwise direction causes it to open. The screw can be turned manually with an Allen key, but it is much better to use a cordless drill. A torque limiter is crucial to prevent over-tightening. Uh, before continuing, it's important to note that the rail joint does not work for all types of footwear. For instance, closed boots like cowboy boots leave no room for the back part of the shoe last to move in the upwards forwards direction. For closed footwear, it's better to use the alpha joint. Here's a picture of the required tools and hardware for assembling the rail joint. This hardware is fairly standard stuff you could probably get from most hardware suppliers such as McMaster Car, Fastenal, Spanar, and maybe even Amazon. Uh, the, I tend to use Fastenal and uh, on the written version of this tutorial I'll provide part numbers as well as links. Uh, so there's uh, the, the number 8 wood screw, now we have uh, a lock washer, M6 cap screws of various lengths depending on the size of the shoe last you're putting a rail joint in. And there's an M5 cap screw, an M6 coupling nut, an M8, M8 square nut, which is actually used more like a washer. And as far then you also need a Robertson bit, 4mm Allen key, flathead screwdriver, and a cordless drill, which you could just use another Allen key, but it's uh, better to use that with a 5mm hex bit it's the, to operate the joint quickly. The thimble can just be a half inch copper pipe you find standard at most hardware stores. Here's a diagram showing some of the terminology I'll be using as I explain the steps for assembling the rail joint. You could pause the video here to have a better look at these. Next up are the actual steps for assembling the rail joint.
That's all for this 3D Shoemaker tutorial. If you uh, found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.